Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Roly Hoyt. Marlisa has the night off. For many Arkansans in this time of COVID, losing a loved one isn't just heartbreaking, it's also an expensive process. Tonight, THV 11's Frederick Christ shows us how Jefferson County is using pandemic relief funds to help some of them out. The toll this pandemic is having on families cannot simply be measured, but the Jefferson County Quorum Court is using a portion of the $12.9 million they received in pandemic relief funds to help support those families. The road during this pandemic for Joe Linda Smith has been anything but smooth. We incurred a lot of expenses that we wouldn't have normally had. Smith lost her husband of 50 years to COVID back on Valentine's Day. Cortez Smith Jr. was a veteran, so they were already receiving benefits from the VA. But when he died, that monthly check was cut in half, leaving her wondering how she could afford a funeral. We had to think about now, uh, this got to be done. And, and, and you, you know, you got to pay for this. It's a similar story playing out across our state. Cassie Cantwell also lives in Pine Bluff. She lost her dad back in January. Emotional roller coaster, a very emotional roller coaster. His death left her and her mom with at least $10,000 worth of bills. Um, him and my mom both had uh, vehicles. They had bills and hospitals. You know, she was sick with COVID too. Thankfully, there is help and some hope for these families. The county judge says the quorum court passed an ordinance that allows nearly $300,000 of that pandemic relief money to be given to people who lost loved ones to COVID. We have about $104,000 left. Uh, we just in this past uh, quorum court meeting last Monday gave away uh, about a total of about 48000 To make sure that money is distributed evenly, Judge Gerald Robinson says families that apply for this aid will get 25% for their loss of income, burial, hospital, and household costs. Maximum is 25000 The minimum is $1,500. And so when you use that formula, you know, each uh, person may get a different uh, amount. While this assistance won't bring back those lives lost, these families are happy to know their community is helping support them. For them to to help us out, you know, help my mom out with that was a blessing. In Pine Bluff, Frederick Price, THV 11 News. Frederick, thank you. And as the judge mentioned, there are still some funds available for anyone who's lost someone. We've posted more information about how you can apply. It's on our website at THV11.com.